lesson number 7 agreement of subject and verb now you have learned already about the sentence in the previous chapters you know that in a sentence we require a subject as well as a verb and an object to complete its sense so here in this chapter we are going to learn the conditions or the rules which is being justified by subject and verb they have some concord between them you know what the verb must agree with the subject in number and person for a sentence to be grammatically correct this is known as the agreement of subject and verb you have read it already that when you have one person or one subject in number you will be using singular verb with it and if you have the plural subject you will be using the plural verb or plural form of the verb now let's move forward and find out the rules in this chapter the following rules should be kept in mind in order to understand whether the verb in a sentence should be singular or plural we have 15 rules in total we'll talk about five and five one by one first is if the subject is singular it will take a singular verb and if the subject is plural it will take a plural verb for example Soumya teaches underprivileged children at her house once a week the books are lying on the desk here you can see that Soumya is a singular subject and it takes a singular verb as well as the books here a plural subject so it will be taking a plural verb next is two or more singular subjects joined by the conjunction end take a plural verb for example john and jane are the best friends so here john is a singular subject jane is also a singular subject but together they form a plural subject when they are joined with a conjunction and so that's why it is being followed by a plural verb next we have if there are two subjects in a sentence but together they refer to only one idea a singular verb is used there for example bread and butter we often call it together and we find it separate entities but here it is two in number and we are referring them for one thing only so here it will be used as a singular subject and the verb will be singular too fourth one is when a collective noun is considered a single unit it takes a singular verb for example the cricket team was extended a warm welcome at the airport you know student a team has 11 players and we are not referring each and every one we are taking them as a whole as a one thing so here team is a collective noun and a collective noun will be considered as single unit and will be taken or will be followed by a singular verb only next one is just an extension of this previous rule that is if members or units that make up the collective noun are considered as individuals then we use a plural verb what is that sometimes we have our judges for example the members of the jury are still divided on their opinion here we are referring to each and every member of the jury the members of the jury are still divided on their opinion some of the staff at the hospital were absent last night sometimes it becomes difficult or it you think or it seems that it is not right in speaking but there are these rules which makes you confident about these particular formations then you have next five points or couple of points let's just find out what are they i hope till 
here you have got your next we have sixth point some nouns which end in s take a singular verb yes you have seen that news consist of s and the end and you will be using it as a singular subject and if it is a singular subject it will always takes a singular verb for more example we can call gymnastics is an olympic sport so here gymnastic is a singular subject so we will be using singular verb here next we have we use a plural verb with quantifiers such as both few and many while much always takes a singular verb yes this you have to keep in mind that there are some quantifiers which are specific in nature so that they'll be using plural as well as singular verb accordingly then it is when two or more subjects in the singular are joined by conjunction either neither neither nor either or or and nor and the singular verb is used you can see that either rahul or shyam is responsible for the mistake keep this in mind if the conjunctions are used that is either neither either or or neither nor then we'll be using the verb in singular if the subjects are in singular nature but in the next point we have a contrast when either or neither nor are used with two subjects one of whom is different from the other in number or person the verb agrees with the subject nearest to it keep this in mind for example either the king or the princess are leading the army in the battle today either the twins or their friend is bringing the wickets for today's match so you can see in the first example princess is a plural subject so are or you can say plural verb is there and in the next sentence you have friend as a singular subject and it is nearest to the verb that's why singular verb will be used here next point is titles of books magazines and films even if they contain plural nouns take a singular verb always a flight of pigeons by ruskin bond is a delightful book you can see that pigeons news these are words which make you confuse and you will put plural verb over there so students keep this 10th point in mind the next one is words or phrases for money time and distance take a singular verb for example rupees 200 is enough for a child's weekly pocket money 3 weeks is not enough to complete this assignment so here these phrases for money time and distance take a singular verb then twelfth is singular noun that represent an entire class or are plural in the meaning take a singular verb for example the family is returning tomorrow you know that the family represent a group of four or more people so still we are taking it as a singular noun and will be adding a singular verb after it our class is going for an excursion today so here class is a group of students still we are taking it as a singular noun and we'll be using a singular verb for it 13th point is when the subject has two nouns or pronouns joined by connectors like as well as with along with in addition to and together with the verbs agrees with the first one yes keep this in mind when two subjects are there or two pronouns are there there you will be using the first subject and then the verb agrees with the first one only for example the captain as well as his teammates is happy with the score for more example the teacher as well as the students has gone out of the class 
so we'll be using the first person for the verb to be agreed here then the 14th point is when words like each or every are used before a noun the verb is singular when each and every are joined with a with and before a noun then too the verb is singular each day brings fresh possibilities every student was given a certificate of participation each and every soldier was loyal to the chief general of the army so here these are some rules and the last is also there when two subjects are joined by not only but also the verb agrees with the subject that is closest to it this rule makes you confused a lot of time but it is easy once you get it for example not only the teacher but also the students were excited you can see that teacher is singular but students are plural in number so you will be using plural verb with it but if we reciprocal the sentence we'll be having not only the students but also the teacher was excited here the places of two subjects have been changed that is students and teacher so when teacher comes at the second place it becomes a singular subject and with the singular subject you always use a singular verb so in a nutshell what we have learned so far in this chapter we have learned that with a singular subject we always use a singular verb and with a plural subject we always use a plural verb however we have different things in this rule segment or the rules we have learned various things in this chapter i hope this is clear to you you will be studying these rules by yourself and if you have any query you can ask me in the classes thank you